Hi, Otter fans. That's what I call my fans. So I am Katie Sauter. If you are new here, I am a wedding planner. I'm still YouTubing. I'm still doing a nine to five. Though we don't, we don't talk about that. We just don't talk about that here. Guys, this might be one of the wildest stories I have read yet. It's a long one, but I promise it's worth it because it is a roller coaster every step of the way. So let's buckle in and go for this ride. But as always, at the end, if we fail to learn anything from this story, which I have a feeling this one might be a failure, but we'll see, we'll see. We are giving it the big fat solder seal of failure. This story is from r slash entitled people, so we know it's gonna be good. This story from Pineapple Upside Down Cake is titled, Cousin's delusional wife demands to plan our wedding but throws a Facebook tantrum when I decline. All right, we're in for a good one. So I'm gonna skip a little bit of the beginning. So this was posted about four years ago, so 2020, and uh, he's basically, so he's 31 male and he has a fiance who's 29 female. So th they are basically, he's just doing Zoom calls with his family when one of his cousin's wife, who apparently no one likes, uh, just barges into the phone call, at which point everyone promptly leaves the phone call. So I'm like, oh, if I want to know more about this woman, you know? Like, what about her? What about her is causing people to leave like that? I have questions. Right. Anyways, about 30 minutes after the call had ended with his friends, where they were talking about like a whole bunch of random stuff, CW, cousin's wife, called up my phone. And before I could even say hello, she just started interrogating me about my wedding. And when I said that we haven't planned anything yet, she began gushing about how we should hold it at the venue. She held hers along with catering, DJ, and so forth. Even as going as far as to donate across her playlist, she said she'll get right to it and she'll handle everything for us. Oh boy, off to a good start, right? The disliked cousin's wife. Oh boy, he continues. Now, if there was an award for the worst wedding ever, CW would be in their hall of fame. First, the venue was a dump. In the middle of nowhere with no roads connecting to it from the highway, it was so bad that many of the guests weren't able to find it. So a lot of them were extremely late or ended up getting frustrated and traveled back home. Yikes. Furthermore, the venue was not handicap friendly, so it wasn't fun for the more elderly and wheelchair bound guests, including CW's own brother. Also, the venue had no restrooms available and the only ones that were available were located about a 30 minute walk away. I mean, a 30 minute walk to the restrooms? Oh no. Oh no, if that's your wedding, you need to be renting toilets. Like that's, you can't just make your guests walk 30 minutes to use the restroom. They will leave. They will leave. Guests are a fickle thing. They will leave. Adding on, when we got to the venue, we saw that there were a lot of cats literally on the guest tables, and some guests were horrified to find that cat poop at their designated seats and tables. The staff took its time to do something about it, so those guests left soon after. <gasps> oh my gosh. There was cat poop on the tables and seats? I just so unsanitary. Holy sh- ah, Okay, next the food. Oh, it's not good when there's food involved. The food itself was horrible. The desserts were in a horrible shape and were nothing but a crumbling crust and fruit paste that had to be scraped onto the plate. The cooked dishes weren't properly stored beforehand and a lot of it smelled spoiled which later turned out to be true, since people began complaining about stomach pains. This doesn't sound like a real caterer. A real caterer would not let this happen. And third, wedding ceremony in the midst of summer at an outdoor venue. Not a good idea. CW's wedding ceremony was incredibly long. About two hours? I mean, I know Catholic weddings can be long. A two hour ceremony is pretty much unheard of. That is nuts. Again, it was the middle of summer at an outdoor venue, so it was hot. Not only had staff closed the bar for the two whole hours of the ceremony, we weren't even able to get glasses of water. That is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Fourth, the staff. 
They were highly unprofessional, and while they did have fans set up at the beginning around the tables and dance floor, they were later picked up and the owner refused to get them out, even though people were starting to fry. What? That's nuts! That's nuts! Oh my gosh! It's dangerous! In an outdoor venue in the summer, you need something to cool down guests. And it found, sounds like the venue's hard to find. Like, if someone gets heat stroke... Oh! That is... That's so bad. Serving them water? Oh my god. But it continues. This mess continues. Finally, the music slash DJ. The music was ridiculously loud, as in take the maximum volume on a garabahaba with Gerard 401 speakers. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I assume they're big speakers. And multiply it by 20 loud. While of course it's only natural for people to have a different taste in music, let's just say that the playlist CW had chosen didn't fit a wedding at all. If anything, it was more suitable for hotels, kids, pool, gymboree. Hotels, kids, pool, gymboree. What is on that? Okay, I want to know more. What does that sound like? Needless to say, with lack of any ventilation and the extremely loud music other than CW and her few sisters and friends, the dance floor was mostly deserted. I didn't stay long much either and left right after my fiancé began complaining about severe stomach pains, which later turned out to be food poisoning. Surprising. We spent the night at the ER? They spent the night at the ER? fun. Yeah, no, I doubt that. I doubt that. Back in the present, CW kept running my ear off about how amazing hers was and how ours could be just as amazing if we stuck to her plan, meaning we paste hers onto ours. Oh, I don't think most people would like that because no one's a cookie cutter wedding, right? But like, yeah, I would be defending my wedding tooth and nail from this lady. But before we get back into the present, uh, shit, it's the time. So I have two freebies in the link below if you are planning your wedding. It is a free wedding timeline that has tips on every page to help you remember everything. It's complete so you won't forget your cake topper. It also comes with a wedding party guide to help you if you are a bridesmaid or groomsman, maid of honor, etc. Or if you're like a couple, of, I don't know what to do about the wedding party. So that is linked down in the description below. Shameless plug time over. When she had noticed I was silent on the phone, she was about to pitch her idea to me again, but I quickly shut it down. I reminded her how a good chunk of her guests ended up with food poisoning, my fiance included, as well as that several of the said guests later on sued the venue. Sounds like the venue kind of deserved it if they're allowing this kind of crap in their, their venue. Oh my gosh. Especially with the bad staff. Like, that's usually that can be the venue's fault but it could also be like the caterer's fault or well it sounds like a drop-off service for the catering i then informed her that me and my fiance have already decided on which venue we'd like to have our wedding at and basically informed her that while i appreciated her willingness to help out her tastes do not match and would prefer to consult people who are more familiar with fiance and myself yeah, it seems like a reasonable way to approach that sounds like you know he acknowledged that it was nice of her to be willing to help so that's good. I was pissed off and wanted to rage on about how her wedding sucked and our grandfather, mine and her husband's grandfather, nearly ended up dehydrated. Oh, that's so dangerous, especially for, for elderly people and it's hot, oh no. But he held it in and simply ended the call. That is more than what most people can achieve. Congrats to you, sir. Most of us are not able to hold that kind of thing in. Wow. I knew she was upset because this was a woman who has rarely heard the word no throughout her life. So I was mentally preparing for whatever hostile fire coming my way. And sure enough, cousin hits up my phone and demands to know what I said to his wife because she hasn't stopped crying since we ended our conversation. I told him she decided upon herself to plan our wedding, but I refused. He was a bit hysterical at first, but calmed down a bit after I explained myself. He knows I wouldn't make stuff up. That's good. His wife, on the other hand, said, I called her a bitch that my fiance hates her. 
She does, but I have never said anything. Hello. <laughs> and that we're going to sue her and that my family can't wait until cousin divorces her. Sigh. Wow, that escalated quickly from I appreciate your willingness to help but to we're going to sue you. Okay. I chuckled a bit and told cousin exactly what I said and even offered to send him a recording of the call. Some of my calls are recorded. Trust issues. Shrug. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He said that he'd like to listen to it. So I later sent him the recording. He later called again and said that they had a big argument and she went to spend the night at a friend's. Yikes. Yikes. All right. Later that night, it was brought up to my attention that CW went on to social media to say how I'm a horrible person who hates her and is the sole reason of why her marriage is crumbling. However, she soon removed the post when people who know better came to defend me and I even made a reply that I can share the recording with whoever's interested. Yikes. Oh my gosh. I feel like it might be smart to record things like that. Because that, I mean, he was clearly really nice, but wow. That is entitlement. Oh my god. Okay. He later says, guys, I won't be sharing the recording here because it's all in Hebrew. It was offered as a comment on our Facebook post CW made, but have since removed it as she got caught. Oh. In some of the other comments, he mentions that it's in Israel, hence the Hebrew, which makes sense. Angeli2015 says, she sounds like a freaking psychopath. To be honest, I hope your cousin leaves her someone that toxic needs to be put in her place. I hope you and your fiance get the wedding of your dreams one day. Oh wait. She said, I hope you and your finance get the wedding of your dreams one day. Someone commented on that, said, I wish I had the finance of my dreams as well. Thorn <laughs> 2 wrote, Ah oh, yes, the finance of his dreams. Lost souls in a fishbowl. I, I don't know, I think I said that right. I have been married twice and I'm still waiting on the finance of my dreams. It's <laughs> great. Oh yeah. So, okay, someone asked, Pope's Ring asks, OP, would you kind us to tell us one song from the playlist. I'm dying to know what this litter box wedding sounded like. Litter box wedding is probably an appropriate way to call that. I'll give you three. Obladi Oblada by the Beatles. Shake it off. That French song about a chicken slash bird. Wait, so the chicken dance? No! Oh my gosh. Oh no. Why is the chicken dance something that's played at weddings? I don't get it. I, I don't. I do not understand. Maybe that's me. I mean, you do you, boo, but I'm not doing that. Not doing that at my wedding. The Pope Spring writes again, Got it. The fact that she remembers her wedding is a super amazing day that everyone will want to replicate when all of the people she cares about were literally lost or getting physically sick. Showed some grade A obliviousness. Good for you for standing up for yourself and your bride-to-be. Yeah. <laughs> so I type with my D, uh, wrote clap, clap, clap. Yep. Yeah. Someone else wrote LMAO at litter box wedding. Yes, that's pretty funny. Snow Miser 26 wrote, her wedding sounds like it was pure hell. Non-handicap accessible venue in the middle of frickin' nowhere? Nope. Spoiled food? Double nope. Thrums 30 minutes away? Super nope. Cat shit on the tables? Holy shit, what the F? Whoa, oh man, I under, yeah. Your cousin should get as far away from this delusional person as humanly possible. What a basket case. A lot of people on Reddit are dubbing this the litter box wedding. <laughs> oh, this should be on like r slash wedding shaming. Maybe it's been cross posted there. I don't know. Cocophobic also wrote, please share. Also that wedding seems appropriate for r slash wedding shaming. Someone else commented on the two hour ceremony. Rudbeck of Rudbeck wrote, Holy shit, two hour wedding ceremony, even Catholic weddings with the mass included, aren't that long. I cannot even imagine how someone could fill two hours. Cats and cat shit at the venue? What the hell? This wedding is like a sequel to the Bridesmaid movie. This is worse than Bridesmaid movie. This is worse. CJ's opinion wrote, the only messed up that I think you made was offering to share the recording on Facebook. You should have just uploaded it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. All right, did we learn anything? I don't know. Do you think we learned anything? 
I am tempted to say, maybe we learned one thing. We learned one thing. Okay, we learned that we need to hire good catering and we learned that at a wedding there should be toilets readily available. Maybe read the contract pretty close. If it's a sketchy looking contract, it might be a sketchy venue. The fact that they were able to sue the venue also tells me that they might not even have a contract because a good contract usually prevents people from suing. I mean, unless, unless you really are that negligent, like these people have been. So I guess we learned something. We kind of learned something, you know, but oh, oh my God. I slept still really. They went to the ER, uh, a 30 minute walk uh, to the restroom, the cat, uh, the cat poop everywhere. I, I, the food poisoning, the, it's so incredibly bad. And the, the, the kids, the hotel's kids pool gymboree. That's what they said. I, I just, I can't, I just can't. Um, if you want a good timeline that will help prevent you from doing some of those things and having a wedding like that disaster, check out the links in the description below. It'd be helpful for you, I hope. If you liked this video, check out this one where I go into some out of control bridesmaids drama. Or this one where I do some more Reddit drama where Reddit explains some of the worst things that they have seen at a wedding. It's a good time. It's a good time. That one is, is bad. It's bad too. All right. So uh, don't forget, uh, whisper some sweet nothings to that like button and say I do to that subscribe if you want to join the Solder Otter family. But keep it PG for me as always, okay?